down to Election Day on Tuesday, voters still have time to decide races for major positions of power. Gun violence, of course, and how to reduce it, a big issue for all politicians in Tuesday's state primary. Top candidates running for L.A. mayor talking to Fox 11 about that issue right now. Fox 11's Phil Schumann spoke to them, joins us live from the San Fernando Valley. Phil. Well, today is National Gun Violence Awareness Day. Events all across the country, including one at this church behind me in Woodland Hills, visited by candidate Karen Bass this morning. Karen Bass talking with the activist group Moms Demand Action about ways to reduce, to even end gun violence. Guns aren't new, but it's out of control. Bass talked about three main areas. Increased use of existing red flag laws, limiting the manufacture and sale of ghost guns, and insisting on federal legislation on assault weapons, background checks. You know in Los Angeles and you know in California that we have good laws. Right. All of that speaks to the need for the national laws. Crime is a complex issue. We have to stop the crimes of today and prevent the crimes of tomorrow. And I want to put a lot of investment in prevention. Making access to guns more difficult is something Sarah Macaluso supports. She lost her father to a handgun suicide years ago. The gun purchased with no waiting period. This is an issue that's impacting so many who've had a direct experience of gun violence, but it shatters communities and families and neighborhoods. Rick Caruso has an extensive plan to reduce gun violence as well. Similar broad strokes, but one key difference. He'll add an additional 1,500 LAPD officers in his first term. Bass says she'll move cops into the field from desk jobs. Alex asked Caruso about all this for the latest taping of The Issue Is. We have to hold criminals responsible. We have to increase the LAPD's gun unit to go out and enforce getting guns off the street. <laughs> Meantime, LA City Councilman Kevin DeLeon, he's still in the race at a rowdy campaign appearance that happened to overlap with one by Sheriff Alex Villanueva. DeLeon said national action, definitely necessary. I've been the author of some of the most restrictive gun laws in America. The reality is this, is you can walk into a gun store in Texas and legally purchase these weapons and export these weapons into the state of California. That, of course, one of the many issues on this complex problem of trying to reduce gun violence, eliminate gun violence, Alex and Christine. Um, they're all looking for answers from Washington as they stress California has some of the toughest and most effective gun laws in the country. Live in Woodland Hills, I'm Phil Schumann, Fox 11 News. Was that a fight at the, at the De Leon thing? What was that about? Uh, that was some uh, hecklers who were yelling at uh, Sheriff Vinaueva, but because he had more security there than De Leon, they moved over to start yelling at De Leon. Hmm.